Good morning and welcome to AntiDarren.com. How are you today? I am going to show you how to feed your family for less with a little bit of a bulk cook using a supermarket basic ingredient, frozen minced beef and pork. Stick with me and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Hello, how are you? Welcome to AntiDarren.com. If it is your first time here and you want to know how to feed your family for less, how to use every single little bit of your shopping and how to not spend every single penny that you have on food and to feed your family well, to be honest with you, please, please, please stake a claim. Go down underneath this video, slap the subscribe button. I want you to like it. I want you to share it with all your friends. Let's get this out here because to be honest with you, food is expensive and people spend a lot of money on food. But we don't always have the budget. More and more people are relying on food banks, are relying on um, charity donations to get to feed the family. There are families that are going out and the kids aren't even having um, a, you know, a bowl of soup or a piece of toast. The one meal a day is beans on toast. Well, that's not good. That's not how we want to feed them. And this is what I want to say to you. Don't go for the look at the supermarket premium. Don't necessarily look for fresh produce. Over the next few weeks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight some of the supermarket's basics. And each time I'm going to take one particular supermarket, um, one particular supermarket's ingredients or basic ingredients and show you what you can do with them and how you can inject maximum flavour, minimum effort. If you do have a couple of hours spare, this is a brilliant dish to do. It's a bolognese or it's a, if you're in America, it's a meat red sauce. And today I'm highlighting on Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's, very, very dear and close to my heart. They pay my wages. I work for Sainsbury's. Can I first state this is not under any circumstances. This is not a sponsored video. This is a video to highlight what they do in base in their basic range and as I said we're making a meat we're making a meat bolognese type thing that I'm going to turn into a lasagna and I've never used this before I don't know how it's going to turn out so you and me are going to find out together I'm going to make sure that I use the maximum of ingredients that will go into it and let's be honest with you let you you, you know goodness comes from what you put into it and I'm going to do a few little tips and tricks and things like that so you can see um, you know see how to ramp up the flavor how to make it as healthy as possible and how to get veg into your kids because let's be honest green is poison no, I don't like that I don't like carrots I don't like onions I don't like it well if you hide it in your meat or you hide it in your dishes, your kids will never know it's there and they're going to thoroughly enjoy it. So let's go down and find and show you exactly what you need to do. So as you can see from this, I'm using very, very, very basic ingredients. At the top end, just there, I've got celery, carrots, onions. There's a little bit of chilli there, some garlic, some fresh thyme. And yes, I do have some chunks of meat. Trust me when I tell you the chunks of meat are important. As you saw previously, I'm also going to use the Sainsbury's Basic Beef. It's 25% fat, which is a good fat content, which will need, mean you don't have to have to add that much fat into your dish. That's enough from me. Let's get over to the recipe. And first things, the first thing that I want you to do is make up some beef stock. It's really, really simple. There's a little touch of beef stock there. It's got, it's just made from 
um, those little square cubes that you can get little oxo cubes okay now what I would like you to do with that beef stock it sounds a little bit weird but I'd like you to get a teaspoon of instant coffee and throw it in simple as that it sounds like a really 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 weird ingredient but let me tell you it will work perfectly it will heighten the meaty flavor of what you're eating now we're going to go on to the beef and first of all you'll notice here i've got some chunks of stewing steak just a few it's only about one pound fifties worth don't worry about that I like a little bit of texture in mine but what we need to do is we need to start those off browning and sealing so I'm going to add a little bit of just plain olive oil cheapest you can get it's not important just to lubricate the pan a little bit this is extra lean beef I'm going to throw that into the pan that should be in theory all the fat you need now on top of that I'm going to add a good pinch of salt a good pinch of cracked black pepper don't move it about a lot don't move don't keep moving it round let it come up to temperature the light I've got it on is high really high because what you want to do is you want to get a little bit of color on this so at this stage we're going to start moving it round the pan Now the problem a lot of people have when they're making something like a bolognese or a tomato based meat sauce is they don't cook it for long enough. They think it's a quick half hour job. They'll use a bottle of uh, supermarket uh, tomato sauce base. It's not really the way we want to go and it's not really the way forward. Now that it's sealed all the way around there's a little bit of colour on it. What we want to do is to add the minced beef. This, as I said previously, is a frozen product. So we're going to add one kilogram bag of minced beef direct to the pan from frozen. Salt. pepper now traditionally when you make a bolognese or a meat sauce you use two types of meat now if you go really really posh you use beef you'll use three types you'll use beef pork and veal now the reason I've chosen this particular brand, uh, Basics brand, is because it has both beef and pork. I've read the ingredients in the back and they really, it really, really is just the beef and the pork. With a little bit of, there is a little bit of salt on there or brine in there. So you, this is why you need to cook this down a little bit. Okay, into that beef now. Beef now. I'm going to add a tablespoon of flour just to help with any fat that comes out. Some thyme. And at this stage, I'm going to pull it all to the side. And I'm going to start introducing some of the tomato products. So you'll notice I've left a space at that side. We have a little tomato puree, roughly about two tablespoons. And allow the tomato puree to cook or start to cook in the hot fat. Thing with any tomato based product, they can be quite bitter so to mellow that out they need cooking and cooking properly now that's cooked down we're gonna start to stir it through the beef and we're going to introduce 
the vegetables. So the carrots, the celery, the onion. You'll notice there's a lot of vegetables in this. This is a bulk cook. There's some chilli in there and some garlic. So throw all of those in. Pinch of pepper and stir the veg through the meat. Now, you can add mushrooms. You can, if you want to keep this vegan, use vegan mints. So, or vegetarian, use corn mints. It's entirely up to you. But this is the stage now that I'm just going to with all of those ingredients turn the light down and place the lid on for about five minutes or so just to start sweating now that's been sweating down for about 15 minutes oh. I mean that it's perfect just make sure that Everything's mixed together and this is the stage that you want to add the rest of your tomato products. Now keeping with the basics theme, I've got two tins of Sainsbury's Basic Tomatoes. Yes, I'm still, as I said, I'm sticking to the same supermarket and each of those tins, just get, I've got a little bit of water in this kettle. I'm going to add, I'm going to rinse the tins out. See, so you want to get, you want to rinse the tins out because there's goodness in the bottom of them, like so. Then I'm going to add a thing of passata. That's just sieved tomatoes to add a little bit of extra, a little bit more look warm water in there just in the rack there add a couple of cherry tomatoes so they can go in let's stir all that through and because you've put tomato products in there I'm going to add one two tablespoons of sugar that's not to add sweetness that's just to help it balance the acidity from the tomatoes give those a stir turn the light up you want to bring that up to a boil so at this stage I'm going to add my beef stock and coffee mix. That's one mighty full pan. Bring it up to a boil. Yeah, you want to cook it for two to three hours in a 160 degree oven. Start it off with the lid on and then turn it down and let it reduce with the lid off. That's had its first hour. Important thing to do now, take the lid off it. Sprinkle some fresh basil on there, stalks and all, everything. Put it back into the oven without a lid for another hour to an hour and a half, two hours, three hours. It really doesn't matter. Come back to me in a little bit and we'll see exactly how good it is. Now that's been two and a half hours, two and a half hours to perfect this beautiful, beautiful pasta sauce. All we've got to do now is make it into whatever it needs to be made into. So, two and a half hours, ten minutes work to get it ready. And I've got a big, great big pot of absolute perfection. Let's... That's lovely. All I need to do now, and I'm going to let it cool till tomorrow. Yeah, come back with, but come back to me tomorrow, and I will show you exactly 
what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to make some i'm gonna make a lasagna i might even do a pasta bolognese you can put it on balm cakes as sloppy joes it's very american isn't it but anyway if this is the sort of content that you like make sure you share it with your friends let them know let them become part of my auntie darren's darlings it's been an absolute pleasure doing this for you um as i say i'm going to do another video tomorrow i might even do another one on friday for you but i'm going to definitely do another video tomorrow to show you how to convert that into a lasagna it's always better the very very next day so what i'm what i'm trying to say is come back and join me it's been a pleasure up here my social media follow me on social media uh instagram my facebook group and twitter I don't often post anything on Instagram, but it would be nice to see you. Um, don't forget to like, th like this video down below. Comment down below. And make sure you leave a like. Subscribe. Turn the bell notification on. Thank you very much. I've been Auntie Darren. You've been wonderful. Thank you for your patience. And I will see you again tomorrow.